So hello and good Wednesday. In today's video, I am going to show you how to manage version control for Power BI. What that basically means is I'm going to show you how to manage all the different Power BI versions of the same file. Okay, so when you're developing a Power BI file, you will have version one, version two, version three. And what do you do with all those versions and how do you actually manage that? So I am going to use one drive for business because there is a way to manage versions. It allows you to manage versions and a lot of businesses have it. So here we are. I've already logged in into my one uh, drive for business. And what we're going to create is a site where we will put all the Power BI files. You don't need to do that. You can put it in an existing site if you want. Power BI does enough. You can add the owners to the site to see who has access to what. Finish. And this will create basically a SharePoint site. So OneDrive is SharePoint masked, kind of. So as you can see here, we find a Power BI SharePoint site. And here on documents, this is where we will put all our Power BI files. Now, if I upload here like that, let's get YouTube report. As you know, I'm working on it to update from API version one to API version two, and I am creating a lot of versions. So here I have, this is the first one. Let's say that I go back to Power BI, I do some changes and I want to name that version two. Uh, so I go upload files, YouTube report, and then it says, hey, you already have a file that is called the same. It doesn't mean that it's the same file, but in this case it is. So would you like to replace it? Yes. Thank you. And if you go here, you will see version history. You have to have version history enabled for your team site. So I'll show you how to do that in a second, in case you don't. But you can see here that I have now two files. One, it was uploaded, yeah, almost at the same time, right? So, uh, and then uh, this is version one, version two. And uh, you can view, restore, or delete. So restore basically means that, the, you know, you want to go back to version one. So you can just click restore and it will create the version three that is basically version one. Now, gorgeous, right? Very good. You don't have to do, that's one of the wonderful things about SharePoint. You don't have to write Ruth's version or version three or a date, like today's date. And especially with Power BI, because you know, when you load something into Power BI, it just loads by the name. So if you call it version one and you load it, and then you load version two, it will load as a different file. So you need to have a production file that does not have this version management. And it becomes quite a pain if you have like, you know, um, everything on one, uh, on one uh, folder. So you will have to change the name just to be able to publish it to the web. In this case, you have everything is called the same and it's the, the production name, but you have versions. Now, here's one thing I miss. And this is one of the things I really like about SharePoint, you know, the classic SharePoint. And it was that you could add a comment to the files. I mean, what's the point of me adding this if I don't know what those files are? So, I mean, I have worked a lot with SharePoint before. I've used 2010 for sure, 13, and even previous versions. I, I did like crazy things with SharePoint. And this was one of the good things that you could put comments, you could put versions. Well, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find where to put it. And at the end, I found a, you know, page on the internet where this uh, Microsoft employee actually said, oh, this is how you do it. And it's, it's not easy. Let me show you. You have to go to return to classic SharePoint. So in the new SharePoint, you're not allowed to do that yet. I guess they will, you know, import that functionality. So you have to work on the 
old look and feel SharePoint site. Once you go here and upload, browse, you see the version comments. That should be everywhere. I don't understand how you can add versions to a file without being able to comment. And here it would say API version two, and then you can put the date here if you want, October 29th. And then you say, Ruth Pozuela Martinez checked in this, and it was add authentication. For example, I don't know. And then you load the file, and I'm going to show you now that you can see what the changes are, and that is so important. So if you go here, now we're on the classic, but it should be, you can see comments API. So you, you have to teach your users how to use comments and how to revert to classic. I know it's not, it's not optimal, but hopefully they will be able to put these comments as soon as possible. So how do you enable version settings? You just have to go to, let's wait to load. You go to library settings and here you have no version settings, not validation settings. And here is where you actually uh, set the version in, in case you don't have that. Okay. So I really hope this is useful for you and I didn't complicate things too much, but now it should work. So hello there. Do you know that I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Fridays? So make sure you hit the subscriber button and the bell to receive notifications every time I do that.